Earlier, I spoke with Christian Wirth from the Griffith Asia Institute in Brisbane, Australia. I began by asking him if the U.S. president has achieved his goal of reassuring his Asian hosts of the American commitment to Asian Pacific countries. I think for the, for now, in the short term, it has been uh, good enough to reassure, especially Japan and South Korea, of U.S. support. Um, the question is, though, whether on the long term this will be enough. I would doubt that. How does he handle the the, the very specific and delicate issue of the Dayu Islands and uh, um, showing uh, Japanese Prime Minister Shinzo um, Abe that he is in fact loyal to Japan? but also loyal to China in maintaining that relationship? Yeah, I think what we've seen on this visit is uh, not entirely new. What's been new is that uh, President Obama himself, as a, as a president, as a commander-in-chief of the U.S. Uh, forces, has, has made a statement uh, and has uh, made it clear that uh, the Diaoyu Zenkaku Islands that are disputed between China and Japan actually fall under Article 5 of the U.S.-Japan Security Treaty. But uh, at the same time, President Obama has also mentioned uh, China being uh, an important partner, and he has also cautioned against, uh, when he was in Japan, uh, he has also cautioned against uh, disputes being escalated uh, and more tension being created. So I think he, he kind of uh, struck a balance, and he talked to the respective uh, audience uh, in Japan and in South Korea, and so has achieved his a basic goal of really assuring these two main uh, alliance partners. How do you, in fact, reassure these partners when, let's just talk about some of the areas that, that China is, is growing. They've got a really aggressive military, obviously. Uh, the defense budget grew more than 12 percent this past year. We've got new, they've got new warships, uh, new uh, aircraft carriers they're expecting by 2020, uh, a considerable fleet of nuclear submarines. First of all, the question is how assertive or how aggressive is China really? And certainly, we have we have seen a, a number of military developments that are worrisome to those neighbors of China who have otherwise disputes. Um, and, and obviously, Japan is, is one of the major concerned countries. Um, but if we look closely at it, I think it's mainly um, apart from the history problems. It's this one dispute about the Diaoyu Senkaku that really drives antagonism between the two governments. And, um, well, President Obama has repeated the standard um, position by the United States government that these islands, the U.S. is not taking position on the sovereignty of these two islands. Uh, and he's basically trying to ensure, uh, reassure both parties to uh, maintain a status quo, however that difficult that is. And how do they all view the trade agreement, the agreement, the Trans-Pacific Trade Agreement, at this point? Um, he's certainly been trying to advance uh, negotiations on this topic. Um, that's uh, one reason why he, he did, not, did not only visit uh, Japan and South Korea, but also Malaysia. Uh, that's a prospective partner uh, in this. And so, but it's, at this point, it's quite early to say whether he really succeeded in kind of reinvigorating the talks that have been stalling on this issue.